Folks, how are we doing? Welcome to Good Works Tractors. Got a brand new product for you today. First product I've got in from Split Fire. I can't wait to tell you more about it and go through it myself. We're gonna get it all set up today, take you through it, tell you all the features too, so stick around. All right, folks, so we are gonna be mounting this on my Kubota M4071 tractor. But the first thing I wanna do is uh, cut all this stuff off. So this is gonna be a three-point mount and you can get this with a Cat 1 or Cat 2 uh, three-point hitch. So I chose to have them send me a Cat 1 they included some bushings on there too, so you could put this on a, on a cat too if you want to. But I feel like that's more flexible, so if I end up wanting to put this on a, a bit smaller tractor, say the 4720 or who knows what tractor I get down the line, you can always add bushings on to fit a cat too, but you can't go the opposite way around. That's just my take on it. Now this is a log lifter, and you might have noticed that there's a hydraulic cylinder on there. So it's gonna be a hydraulic, that's noisy, sorry. That's gonna be a hydraulic log lifter on there. And I managed to scratch it up a bit, but uh, it's gonna get, gonna get scratched up when we put it to work anyway. Okay, so let's see, we got uh, this wedge bolted down. Looks like that's just resting on there. Cylinders bolted down, lower three-point bolted down. All right, so we'll get something to take that off, but this is gonna be a four-way wedge, also comes with a two-way. So the 3403, this model comes with both. Super easy to take this out, just like that. Um, it's got a little, little bearing, a little bearing in it right there. You can just push that in, super easy. So watch, you just pop this thing right off. You know, then once I have this two-way wedge unbolted, you can put that on, slides back on like that. See what I'm doing there? Boom, that's, that's a piece of cake. That's a really good design. Four-way wedge for your kind of cleaner, straighter, easier grain stuff. Uh, two-way is for the kind of the bigger, nastier, uneven, whatever kind of stuff. So you have options there. This is, this is dual action, so it goes both ways, all right? Super awesome. Um, reinforced ends on both sides as well. Reinforced uh, plate here too. Let's get this thing unbolted. Ooh. Hmm. Kind of acting funny. Is that broke off in there? Kind of spinning around goofy on me. Hmm. Work with me. Uh, I got bent. Got bent a little bit. No biggie. I'll keep that drill handy in case I missed anything. Okay, so here's that two-way wedge. Go. Boom. I had this sitting outside overnight. Must have rained that night. Two-way wedge again. Let's let's show that again here really quick. Pop that out, super easy. Drop her down, pop that off. Pop her on, pop her through, and you're good to go. That's awesome. That's like a really good, simple design. What do you think? Okay, getting close here. Now, I'm trying to prep this because I, I want to hook this up to the three-point um, so that it's easier to hook up everything else. I think it may be quick hitch compatible. We're gonna find out, um, give that a shot and, and see what happens there, but uh, that'll make installing that log lifter easier and, and everything else. And so the fittings for the hoses, the way these ship in, there's not really a whole lot of assembly, which is kind of nice, so. Uh, there's one of the hoses that they just have tucked underneath there. Get this other one out right there and we'll, we'll just pull them back through this way. So there's no PTO, no PTO required, all right? This is a three point mount and hydraulically driven, okay? I think if I remember right, it says eight GPMs minimum. Although I feel like I did see a note for cycle time even with four GPMs which was 28 seconds, somewhere around there, but the higher the GPMs, uh, the faster the cycle time is. And, and with uh, the 12, 
12 GPMs, you're going to have nine seconds of cycle time down and back both ways. That's pretty impressive. So trying to figure out though how we can um, get this high enough. It weighs about 350 pounds, but we got to get this high enough to connect to the three point. Might have uh, Chris help me out. We'll prop up maybe some logs underneath it or something um, to get it up a little bit higher. And now on that note, there is an optional stand that I saw. It's an option, it's not standard, but you can get a stand to put underneath here. So if you wanna make it easier, if you don't wanna make something homemade to have it up elevated a little bit higher off the ground, uh, you can get that for it too. We are proud to be sponsored by RimGuard Solutions, a ballast weight solution for your tractor. Liquid ballast is one of the most cost-effective solutions, so it's hidden, it's out of the way, it gives you that extra stability you need when you're using the front end loader, it gives you safety to keep those rear wheels planted on the ground, and it gives you traction when you need it. Well, why RimGuard? It is a natural product that is gonna be safe around animals and livestock in case you get a puncture and it leaks out. That means it's also gonna be safe on your wheels as well. You know the old calcium chloride that'll rust those things out and ruin them. It is also the heaviest natural ballast weight on the market today and the most convenient, which is available at over a thousand dealers nationwide. So head on over to RimGuardSolutions.com to find a dealer near you. So I couldn't tell from the operator's seat, but this pin over here wasn't fully seated down and I realized I've got to lower this hook down one. Um, honestly, I forgot I had it raised up. And for most of the attachments I use, it's in the lowest slot. And so that's gonna be the same thing for this one as well. I just didn't notice it. So I'm gonna lower this thing back down, put my top hook down in the bottom slot where most of my other attachments are anyways, and then we'll hook it back up and that pin will fully seat. Bada bing. Alrighty folks, got that on there. Love quick hitch compatible attachments. They don't take all the pain out of the process, but they take a lot of pain, especially bigger, more awkward things. And we get a hydraulic top link on something too. Like, I feel, I feel good. Unlike normally hooking up to all three links separately. That's just me. Let's see here. So we got to put this log lifter on. Let's see, it goes on that side. There should be, got a couple pins right here, okay? So that's where we're gonna go on. I don't know what these are for. We'll find out shortly, I suppose. But let's see what this manual has to say. All right, so I think I know what to do here. So that log lifter is gonna slide on here. This, these are for the, uh, the cylinder, all right? So one's gonna go on this end. Without even looking, there's probably another spot just like this on the underside of the log lifter. So we'll take care of that afterwards, but we'll get this on here first. Come on, half inch. Half inch. It's nine sixteenths. Nine sixteenths it is, folks. Cameraman was correct, I was wrong. First time in his life, you know. Feels pretty good, huh? All right. Here we go. Ooh. Ooh. There are zerks that are on there too. I could pre-grease it, but I'm just gonna see how easy it is to tap these on since I got it started just to see. This is a, a shout out. If anybody's in the greater Kalamazoo area and either has a bunch of logs or a good source to get them, I've got this splitter here. I've got that Yapa firewood processor. And uh, I could use a bunch of, a bunch of timber. Well, I don't know if this has a max diameter on there. I'll have to look at the specs and see if there's a max diameter for this or not, but I think that Yapa processor is 14, 14 inch max, maybe it's 16 inch max, but the bigger stuff I can, I can split on here on the split fire. Right, we're getting pretty close here. Um, just gotta put the cylinder on. 
And so you can buy directly through Split Fire, all right? So I don't sell these, okay? I'm doing some advertising for Split Fire. It's a company I've wanted to work with for a long time. They've got a, just a rock solid reputation in the industry. And you can look at this thing, it's, I mean, it's built stout. And talk to anybody about Split Fire and they're gonna say good things. And so not only do they have splitters, but they've got a chipper, they've got a carry-all. Oh, and they even have an electric splitter as well. So a lot of different sizes of splitters. That's kind of their, their meat and potatoes. And so they're gonna have a splitter to fit your needs for pretty much whatever the situation is. But if you want something quiet too, check out their electric splitter. That thing's pretty sick. Okay, so this is the hardware fittings. All right, so you've got your two pins for your lower links right there. These are bushings, okay? So if you want to upsize to a category two, these will slide over the cat one pins down here and you can put it on a category two three point hitch. Now this is not gonna be category two three point compatible with my category one setup that I have, all right? So you have that option when you're purchasing to get a cat one or a cat two out of the gate. You get the cat one like you see here, they sent these bushings along with it. The final thing are these two fittings, all right? So these are the two hoses. You got two of these hoses here and uh, the other one's over here. These are what we're gonna plug into the backside of our tractor to operate everything hydraulically, all right? Hydraulically sliding it back and forth to split and then hydraulically lifting logs off the ground, all right? So obviously this is up too high. Once we get this hooked up, we'll lower it down a bit. So that log lifter is, is flat around the ground, put a log on there, raise it up, get to work. <clears throat> All right, we got that hydraulic cylinder hooked up, just two pins to put in place, one on the, the lifter plate itself and then one on the bottom side of the frame of the splitter. All right. Get these fittings on here. Now, I don't know about you guys, my techs that I take my tractors to and skid steers and everything else, actually even the hydraulic shop, said not to use any kind of pipe dope or tape or anything on hydraulic fittings. I don't know what you guys do on that. So there's no engine on here, no PTO, no motor, no gearbox. No, nothing like that. It's just running off of the tractor's hydraulic system. You're connected to the three-point hitch. I mean, it's a, a pretty low maintenance splitter. This is bound to last an eternity. It's a really good, really good design. If you're not sure about your tractor's hydraulic flow, Tractor Dad is a great place. It has a lot of different models on there. Um, otherwise, Sometimes the OEM tractor manufacturers will have enough data. It depends on the manufacturer. Surprising how many of them lack information. I gotta go grab one more wrench. Okay, so the Kubota's got two circuits on the back side. You can see this one is being used right now by our hydraulic top link. The bottom one is available, all right? So you have a pair, a pair of outlets make one circuit, okay? So if you see, this isn't four, I guess is what I'm saying. You don't have four circuits here available. A circuit is, is two of these, a hydraulic circuit. So um, you have it, your flow going one way and then flow coming back the other way. So if you're looking in the back of your tractor, you're not sure, we've got two remotes. If you only have one pair, that's one remote. But I believe one of these rear outlets is equipped with continuous flow. So you're gonna have a lever in your cab or on your open station either way and if you push it all the way in one direction, one of these, I believe, is gonna have continuous flow, so I'm gonna go double check. Uh, it may be this one right now. I, I can't remember, and I could be completely wrong, but I'm gonna find out really quick. Okay, so that's the, yeah, pop it back out. This one, oh, that one, no, that one will pop back. Okay, so this one will stay. I think, I think that's the one with continuous <laughs> flow. Now, take a look at that fitting. I don't know my fittings very well, but I will say 
I know these are going to work because uh, they look identical to the other ones. Nothing really. C402P-08, if that means anything to anybody. Okay. <laughs> I think we're ready to fire it up. folks so this is kind of a customizable item all right so you see one version of it here we talked about the cat one or cat two that you can get on if you want to get a bolt-on pto kit you can as well so that's an option too you can get a longer or an extended log lifter if you want that a log table you can get a stand so you can just have it kind of at an easier height to put on and off of your tractor all sorts of different ways to configure this piece of equipment. And if I forgot anything or you want more detail on it, just go to Splitfire's website. They're gonna have a really nice website with all the options, all the standard specs and features as well, including pricing. So you're gonna have a 24 inch stroke. All right, again, a, an option to get a 36 inch stroke if you want to. Weighs 350 pounds. This is six by six tube steel, so it's extremely stout. And again, very similar to the 3203, but this is a little bit beefier for this four-way um, knife that you have on here. Beefier on this end, beefier on this end, beefier around here, just because of the added stress points applied because of the four-way wedge. So this bad boy is 20 ton rated, okay? It's gonna split both ways, not just one way. This works with a wide range of hydraulics from four to 12 GPM with a cycle time as fast as nine seconds. Again, that's down and back. Now Splitfire sells and ships these just about all around the world. You know, they have, they have places here in North America, Canada, and the US, they're, they're based in Canada, all right? Small business up there doing big things, but over in Europe, they have locations, New Zealand, I believe, they're worldwide. So they're doing a lot of really great stuff. Again, I'm really, really proud to be able to represent them and that they have confidence in me to do a, hopefully a good job for them too. So I'm looking forward to putting this thing to work sometime soon. You can see it set up here. This is on my Kubota M4. It's kind of like, well, I think it is the same tractor that they had in their videos too, but they're gonna help you size appropriately to fit your tractor or your machine. So you can reach out to them too. If you have questions, you're not sure which way to go or what options maybe to consider or, or maybe you didn't know about, reach out to Splitfire, they'll be happy to help. Alrighty folks, that's gonna wrap it up for us today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. We are all about tractors and tractor attachments. So if you enjoy tractor videos, whether it's projects, equipment, maybe tractor business stuff, hit that subscribe button down below. We'd love to have you tag along. And while we don't sell these lock splitters, we do sell an absolute boatload of tractor attachments. We just moved into a brand new 20,000 square foot warehouse. We are loaded up with attachments for the three-point hitch and the front end loader. We also sell and ship all over the USA. Get more information at goodworkstractors.com. I wanna thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by. And until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.